BMWs, all ours. The Range Rover, Rolls Royce trucks, all ours. And y'all can't even get no fucking hook. It's all bars. I'm selfish. I heard you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm selfish, nigga. You see him in a goddamn it. I don't see my boy in a goddamn it. Can't take that back. Cause he just spit. Yeah, so what y'all gonna do? Hit the Christmas party or something? Wow. Happy New Year's, motherfucker. Just going out by myself. It's on out. That boy's having fun though. 2024 about to be a real selfish year. 2024 about to be a real selfish year for me. You heard? You heard? Just how we living. She over there on the phone with Bazzy. So we eating or whatever. We eating this. It's like we getting this out. And the fizz am about to go ahead and heat up my plate. We in here chilling or whatever. Ain't much to do it. But I know I ain't the only one that feel like motherfucking 2023 just blue. Because I can promise you it did. I can promise you it did. I feel like 2023 came and went. Came and went. And I had me a little horrible year. I ain't gonna lie. I had me a horrible year this year. But what made it great, what made it great is the level, like, the levels that I reached that I didn't think I would ever reach, like, I'm happy, I'm happier, you know, like, it could be worse, but I'm here, I made it, and can't nobody tell me otherwise, that's all I really care about, for real, I'm here, and I'm healthy, I have no diseases, no nothing, like, I'm here, even though my year was shit, I made it another year, so I can't do nothing but be thankful and grateful. I give thanks to my ancestors, my spirit guides, my dogs. I give thanks to everybody that was up there fighting for me. Because I wasn't supposed to be here another year, but I made it. And I want to say shout out to the motherfuckers that couldn't make it. My doggies in heaven, I love y'all to death. Y'all know I love y'all and I do everything for y'all. And I want y'all to know 2024 about to be crazy. And I mean just that. Like, we ain't putting on fronts. We ain't trying to dress it up and make it look good for the next motherfucker. Like, no, everything is selfish. Like, everything is for self. I'm pushing self-love this year. Not really worried about no relationship. If come and come, I'm not focused on it. I'm dolo. I'm worried about me, myself, and I. I got a, I got things to do. I got people to put in position. I'm trying to buy my mama a house. You feel me? I'm trying to get my credit up to goddamn 850. You know, I'm trying to be, do all that. The good shit, not the bad shit. Normally, I take bring my little New Year's in at the club. Fuck that shit. The club ain't it. It's my little last year. I ain't gonna say my last year of drinking. I'm gonna say my last year slowing down on drink. Even though I don't drink like that. But I find myself picking up the bottle when I want to have fun. Like, we ain't doing that no more. I'm about to make my own fun. And it's gonna be why I'm sober. And no more smoking for real. If I want to smoke, it's going to be, it's going to be lenient. It ain't going to be, I was abusing that shit last year. Keep it a buck. I was using that shit when I was depressed or annoyed or no. Like, I'm, I'm learning to deal with my emotions this year on my own. No more substance abuse. No more physical abuse, verbal abuse, spiritual abuse. None of that shit. Emotional abuse, we ain't doing it. If I find myself, because I, I suffer from seasonal depression, so I try to cope with shit, but I, I was coping the wrong way. And I could have just meditated, even though I'll do that, but when that's not enough for me and it's not moving fast enough for me, I'll go to the weed or go to the drinks. It's like, no, or go to the club. Like, I mean, doing that in 2024 is patience. Everybody always wants to be consistent and disciplined, but they always forget about patience. You have to be patient. Patience is a virtue. You have to relax and wait. Because at the end of the day, when you stay consistent and you stay disciplined, it's going to come. That patience alone is going to be there. It's going to come. 
You just gotta do it. And that's the goal. Do the shit. Ain't no more talking. We ain't trying to prove nothing. We don't need no validation. We ain't doing it for the bread. We doing it for the heart, the soul, the mind, the body. Staying in the gym, being healthy, doing the right shit. Fuck the likes, fuck the loves, fuck the hugs, fuck the girls, the boys, the niggas, the bitches, fuck all of that shit. None of that matters in 2024. As y'all can see what's going on, TikTok will let you know. The Americans is fucking doomed. And I'm just keeping it a stack. They lost. They worried about the final things and materialistic things and eating and obesity. Like, no, we're not worried about that shit. We got to get our mind right. When you live better, you eat better, you think better, then you do better. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to leave out with this. Do what you got to do to be better for you. Because once you better for you, you change your environment. You change those around you. And that's universal law. You know how motherfuckers say what goes around comes around? It's the same shit. That's the same inertia. The shit that's, that formula, it's the same. That energy, it's the same. Once you be better, you do better, you receive better, you get better. And then everybody around you is going to do exactly what you're doing. I'm telling you. It's like a domino effect. And I'm only speaking from experience. I don't just be speaking from the side of my neck. I'm speaking because I went through it, I lived through it, I'm going through it now. I start changing my behavior in my environment. I start feeling lighter and happier. I stop smoking so much, I start feeling lighter and happier. And I start thinking in my mind, like, damn, if I really stop doing this shit altogether, ain't no telling what the fuck I start thinking about. Ain't no telling what the fuck type of goals I'll come up with. And the goals that I complete, I can finish, I could stick to it, not just start it and be like, oh, I'm about to start something else. No, I can actually stop it. I can actually start it. Not stop it and fucking finish that shit. We ain't starting and stopping shit no more. We going all in. We going all in. Like my nigga Nipsey Hussle said. The marathon must, the marathon must continue. And it is. I got something to do with it. The motherfuckers gonna go. And it's gonna keep going. We got little seeds and shit to take care of. You know what I'm saying? I want my nieces and my nephews and my son to be straight. When I reach 30. I ain't got time to be worried about nothing else. Not arguing with nobody. Not dealing with nobody that drains me. I'm not, I'm not repeating myself. If I said it once, and that's all I'm saying it. You hear me? I'm not about to keep doing the same shit. We grown now. It's time we start acting like it. Once like again, once you start doing better, you're going to start receiving better. And the people around you are going to do the same thing. Common laws. If you read the laws and you know the laws, you set for life. So again, I'm signing out. My YouTube is a little dump this year because I'm going to stay consistent on doing that. More vlogs, more videos. And that's it. Shit. We living bigger and better. 2K24. You hear me? Out of here. You can call me what you want to call me. Deuce Deuce, Soup, Marie, Summer. It don't matter. It's me. I'm me. You feel me? I'm out.